Hey guys, and welcome back to another Roblox video. In this video, I'm going to be telling you guys what's happening on Roblox right now. Basically, a little update on things that are happening in Roblox today, or in the past week. I'm going to have some Arsenal gameplay in the background, kind of like Connected Kitten style, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to show you guys is this article that I found. It says, is Roblox really adding refunds? So people are thinking that Roblox will add refunds to their game. And before we look at what it's got, I have to say that this would be a good idea for the players. I think this would appeal to a ton of Roblox players that I might have bought something that they did not like. For example, one item that I regret buying would probably be the salad hair or also known as the Holiday Crown. I bought it back when I first started Roblox, so I think that's one of the items that I would probably refund. So let's look at this one thing that someone posted on Twitter. They said, Roblox is adding refunds. I'm returning this. This is a UGC item, as you can see. I think this is their hair that they're talking about. And this, I feel like this confused a lot of people. It originally started from a TikTok video of someone saying that they were so the Roblox was adding refunds, so which caused people to get hyped up for something that wasn't actually happening. So there's this one, another Twitter tweet over here that says one video I saw a TikTok girl that said Roblox is adding refunds, and it blew up. Then she literally duetted it saying that it was fake, and apparently she accidentally wrote that instead of saying if Roblox actually added refunds. So kind of like hyping people up for something that actually wasn't going to happen. So, I mean, I honestly don't think Roblox is even ever going to add refunds because it would be pretty bad for business. Like, imagine you go to like a clothing store. You could use the clothing a lot. And then if they were, if you were able to put the clothing back for and just have all your money back. I feel like that wouldn't be very good for their business because they would get used clothes. So basically, it's kind of like Roblox. You could maybe buy a hat and you really love it for about a month and then you don't like it, so then you want to refund it. So Roblox would lose a lot of money for that, which is probably the main reason they won't make it. Okay, so what probably caused all this confusion on refunds was probably because whenever like a child would waste a ton of money, maybe thou hundreds to thousands of dollars on Robux with their parents' credit card. If it ever went on the news, Roblox would refund that Robux because it was just a complete accident. So some people got confused. They're like, oh, so does that apply for everyone now? But that wasn't true. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to be talking about in this video is games on Roblox that are copies of games on different platforms. For, for example, um, the very popular Roblox game Islands, formerly known as Skyblock, got taken down for two to three days because of copyright. So if you guys remember, when, when Islands first came out, it was named Skyblock. And it was designed after the game in Minecraft, Skyblock, by Hypixel. And it got taken down because it was too similar to regular Minecraft Skyblock, and it also had the same name. Now, this has been happening a lot with Roblox games, with Roblox games having copies of games on other platforms, or on Steam or something. So I think the main reason all these games on Roblox are coming up, all these copy games on Roblox are coming up, is because, for example, Minecraft Skyblock obviously costs money, but the Roblox Skyblock is free. So this is why these developers are making these games. And another huge example of this is Pokemon Brick Bronze. And if you guys are OGs, you should remember this playing this game. It was one of the biggest games on Roblox, and it was just a Pokemon game. 
And then all of a sudden, it just got wiped from the platform because of copyright. Because they were covered by Nintendo for having a Pokemon game. This is a really high quality game, but the only problem was they were using it. They were basically copying the idea from Nintendo. So I feel like these games have been popping up a lot. If you guys know the new game, the new popular game Fall Guys, you probably have seen some of your favorite YouTubers playing it. It's been having lots of copies of it popping up on Roblox, if you've seen Kaneko Ken's video on Fall Guys Roblox copies. There's also some Minecraft game, Minecraft copies. And I have to say, that's a pretty big problem on Roblox, copyright reasons, because there's not really a lot of originality coming from these games that are just based off of other games. Now, I think for Islands, it has a little bit more originality. If you guys have played that game, you can tell that it's not the same thing as Skyblock. But for games like these Fall Guys copies, it, they are literally just zero creativity put into them, which is not what I like to see from developers on Roblox. Because when, when I come to this platform, I want to see unique games that will actually be blown away by and play them, not just something ripped off of another game. Okay guys, that's all I have to say for this video. And if you enjoyed, please remember to like and subscribe. I'm going to be starting daily uploads now, so it would really motivate me and help me if you guys just took a second or two to just like the video and subscribe. So I hope you guys have a great rest of the day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.